Welcome to a lesson on the corresponding angles converse. The goals are to state the corresponding angles converse and then state several theorems that follow from this postulate. The corresponding angles converse postulate tells us that if two lines are cut by a transversal and the corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So you can see here below that I've color coded the corresponding angles. So if any of these pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, we can conclude that the lines would be parallel. So if this is line L and this is line M, we can state that line L is parallel to line M, and we can also identify the parallel lines by using arrows. If we use a single arrow on this line and a single arrow on this line, those lines would be parallel. And now we'll state the three most common theorems that follow from this postulate. The first one is the alternate interior angles converse. This tells us that if two lines are cut by a transversal and the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So in this case, if angle three is congruent to angle six, or if angle four is congruent to angle five, the lines would be parallel. And we'll prove this in another video. The next theorem is the alternate exterior angles converse, which tells us that if two lines are cut by a transversal, and the alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So if angle one is congruent to angle eight, or angle two is congruent to angle seven, the lines would be parallel. And the last theorem for this video is the consecutive interior angles converse. This tells us that if two lines are cut by a transversal and the consecutive or same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. So if angles three and five are supplementary, or angles four and six are supplementary, then the lines would be parallel. And again, we're going to prove each of these theorems in the next several videos. I hope you found this helpful.